Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yo Shirley back with another video and today we're gonna be showcasing Grim in action. He's the newest hero and predator sir and I think it's safe to say that he's always shaping up to be one of the most unique ADCs to ever release um, to this day and the big part of that reason is because of his passive where his basic attacks are modified to do magical damage. That has some huge implications because first off that means that Grim can really open up some more team comps um, right here like being able to fulfill like a magical DP as well rather than the physical base and ADC but more importantly his builds are going to be quite quite different like um for example the martial and fame show are some of the most powerful adc items at the moment but both are almost completely useless on him because he does magical damage so physical pen is just useless on him you want to build magical pen instead if you want to get that and that means that you only really have costica as a sample to build out right here so we'll see how this goes um this is against like the um this dude right here i think they're all quite Great in the world, I think especially um I think one of them is a competitive player, I'm not too sure, but either way, things might get a little bit feisty in this dude right here. We just have to wait and see how this plays out. Okay, wave is pushing, so we're just gonna back off right here. I'm gonna try to see if we can get the level 2 on time, but I think we're gonna be slightly off right there. So we're all gonna just back off, respect the level 2 pressure, and just play patiently from here on out. I think I might go on B or E. I'm actually not too sure what I want to do right here. Um, I think since we're playing more defensively, I'll go my wife with because I think I need the spell shield to maybe set myself a phase root or when Grim tried to use his Q on top of me. I should maybe try to block that one right there. I think I'm just trying to be more careful about the phase root more than anything. So I'm gonna try to keep an eye out for that. That's kind of like one very important thing about Grim is that he's very utility based. You want to be looking out for important CC abilities. It's kind of hard on phase because he's the multi tech for the most part. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to try and block the Grim because the phase has been pretty passive on her like E so far. So I think I might have to wait a little bit. Yeah, see how like the Grim just blocked that shield right there, so it's actually becoming a little bit hard. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard in this matchup actually. Like they have like um the phase like healing poke. We're very like limited on how we can engage on this actually. So this is actually looking pretty rough so far in this like dueling right here. So we just we may have to play patiently for like the gang to come in to help us right here. My steel is quite healthy though, so maybe we can use that to our advantage when trying to like um engage. I'm like very far away though. Nice. That's actually a really good engagement by the Mixie support steel right there. Love to see it. It looked almost kind of hard because I wasn't there immediately, but it um, looks like they went full commit on that. So we actually got a very good um, engagement on that. I was about to say, like, Mixie is very full on the HP side. So if anything, he needs to go in first, let them, like, 100% like, draw the aggro onto him, and then I'll be able to go in for the sweeping kill. Please. Nice. So you can kind of see right here that his build is a little bit weird in the sense that it's very quite different. Like Chain Round's first iron recommendation looks weird on paper but actually works really great in practice right here. Because the uh, increased damage as the health increase actually is very very good for um, Grim. Grim really wants to build a lot of attack speed and so like Chain Round's to provide that attack speed a whole lot. And plus we are against the phase so actually bring some early like light early on it can be a very very good counter tech against this matchup right here. Okay, so they have a big wave, so we actually have to respect this um for the time being. 
Probably just have to wait until this wave crash before we look to um, engage on them. So I'm actually gonna let this slowly push in. Feymon is forcing this engagement though. Got the phase um, pull right there, so that's actually great engagement. So that means that my jungler knows that next time he ganks on the phase, we could just stick onto her right there. So very nice. Oh wow, that's still hit me right there. I thought I side stepped that. Oh, that's actually very good engagement. I'm just kind of slow, so I'm kind of not able to um, keep up right there. For white lane, okay. If you think like be careful white, then I'm gonna respect that call and back off. But we see wait back over there, so we actually kind of just chilling still. And then quite hit that one right there. See if I can actually time the kill by. Okay, that time he did like. Okay, he did like the whole. Oh wait, good engagement. Oh, I can't go hard anymore because there's a mini wave right there. Yeah, that time he did the fast Q, so it's a lot harder to react to like blocking that shield right there. Okay. Maybe go for go buff? I think we can sort of bait them to come closer to us if anything. So pop out E, so we can start to do more damage to this. Nice, we got that one. I did took some damage from that, so... A little bit not in a great position compared to the, this win right here. So we may actually have to be wary, but we see the sails on the left side. It's only just us two in the lane so far, so we're actually chilling still uh, for the time being. So not that far away on CES on against this win right here. Alright, see if we can last hit on um, the way from afar. Uh, we're not able to get the close right there. That's unfortunate. Okay, the both have level 6. And now we have to be careful because they could try to pull the trigger on this soon. Um, because we just have uh, like a HP like this advantage right here. With, because this is the thing again, like the face healing is going to be super good. Um, looks like they're actually going to back off soon just because um, the Grim just out of mana right there. That's actually quite good because I was mean the back anyways, and this means that um, I'll put myself in the better spot and get the gold I really want to spend as well. So I'll take the reset right here, and I actually got enough to tame round, so that's actually gonna be a nice power spike for your surely. Let's grab this and start going to Dust Devil right here. Again, attack speed is what you really want on Grim. You can either go on hit attack speed or go for crit attack speed. And for today's build, we're just going to do the recommended just so that um, we can be close to what most people are going to be playing him at. And in the later views, we can try to cook up some more special builds on him. It's going Clay mode. That's like a, a Vanquisher kind of item right there, but I'm not too sure because I don't think you should be better for sure so i guess we'll find out what, what it's gonna get but either way we have an iron advantage i think i want to push this advantage if we can on top of him we should definitely try to get aggressive if we can i think we're just at a really good spot currently okay we see sales right there so to actually start to back off and i'm gonna put down the ward on the entrance right here, so if they was trying to still look behind us, we can at least follow her that direction. Again, like I really feel like I should not be getting hit by those, but I guess the Q radius is actually a lot larger than I think it is. So I just need, I guess, I need to like you just use it a lot more often 
in this instance. Okay, Famer is on the side, so we could try to wait uh, for him to stream by and maybe look for a gang. Mm, the wave is sort of stuck right there though, so I think I'm gonna chop this in to get the, the reset towards our side more favorably. That time we blocked the shield right there. Oh, we got a kill. And we got the bling. We'd love to see it, guys. Let's go. Cause that's why I figure we're just so strong. Cause we that have that iron fence that we could just literally just go in as soon as we got a good engagement by the support right there. It's a very awesome stuff to say the least. Hey, let's actually just grab ourselves a gold buff. And then look to just reset them to spend our um part on go right here. Alright, let's see. We're gonna, yeah, finish the devil, the devil right here for more attack speed. It's also gonna be really good because it kind of feels like Grim is just a slow bulky unit in general. You can kind of see away from the gameplay that the camera on this guy is so much different compared to other ADCs. He's like placed a lot higher. Like he's. He's pretty much like a said while where he's more tiring up above like people in a sense, but like he's an ADC that is squishy like an ADC, so this whole like camera placement on him is quite quite unique. And yep, we're gonna try to see if we can make it over to here. I might need help right here, because I might get collapsed on oh, I don't have to blink right here. Yes, I'm kind of getting chased by now by the Grim. Push him away towards me. Maybe we can actually go on this now. <laughs> okay, that's actually a very nice kill. Love to see it. Um, seems like we're not doing fighting to it because yeah, like my fate mal jungle is actually really low at the moment, so there's no way we're gonna force that when they could come in and kill my jungler. Um, let's see. Let's actually push this in. Grim is not up just yet, so only the face can realistically defend this out. We just kill the Sarahs. I don't think she's gonna be on this side. Because I think getting the T1 tower taken down ACP is really big. Now we retreat. That's really huge. We get quest, got a bunch of gold on ourselves, so not too far away from our second item already on the Grim X. But yeah, you can always see his abilities hit hard. Like all of them cost a lot of mana, but the main reason why we can sustain our mana is due to the fact that um we have the E on sentry mode giving us like bent mana refund on basic attacks. In this game, I actually don't need cleanse, so I'm actually gonna go for if this way the recommend item on him because, because again, attack speed is what you really really want on Grim. And like in that True damage along with that is actually gonna be really big when we try to take the one we want against this win right here. Yeah, he's going lightning hard, so he's going he's doing like that um more typical crit attack speed build that you would see normally. And we see Sarah's on this right here. Try to see any chance we can just like go on here. Uh, I'm gonna die right there. I did a lot of damage to the Sarah, so we got the cleanup right there. And I think they should be able to kill the Grim too, or the Faze, because she does have Blink still. Very nice. Yeah, 1 for 3. I'll take that any day of the week, honestly. Um, it's unfortunate that I kind of die and give the shutdown to the Sarah's, but that, if that means that we can force um, kill them, all three of them right there, I think that's totally worth it, in my opinion. Okay, my right lane is already really pushed up, so I have nowhere to really farm. Um, I really want to just take the two camp because I'm just really like a little bit off from Dust Devil. So I think I want to just farm this really quickly, get my Dust Devil, take my reset, 
by the time we take the reset, we should be able to like farm my white side of the way. Oh, I did not realize this was happening. Uh, I was trying to get the ultimate that land on her before she kills, but the Q is actually pretty short cooldown. So unfortunately, I didn't get got the kill on that. Kind of fortunate that the fame out just got greedy, got caught out, and I tried one over the help, but he died before I saw the lay on top of her right there. Well, we got Dust Devil. That's why I really wanted to, but I need to really make sure I stop dying like this, because if I keep dying and not farming well, I'm gonna fall behind because it's other Grim. Still level up, still definitely have an Iron Avenge, but I want to make sure we can at least keep the lead and or even extend the lead even more. So I'm gonna come up away and Steel doesn't have ultimate. He should have it soon by the time I get my ultimate and that's when we can try and look to kill the Grim X. Or let's kill the phase because it might be annoying to try to kill the Grim with the spell shield, but if we get on top of the phase, we can definitely kill her. Okay, they're actually mid right now. Are they actually gonna push that in all the way? I highly doubt it. Either way, I can't push right by myself because I could get caught out is my main concern. Oh, they're actually going left is what they're trying to do. Let's just push mid then then. Yeah, let's push mid then. Maybe pressure for the T2 tower at this point. Pop the quest because we're gonna try to see if we can DPS this tower down on um, fast enough. Okay, actually, very nice kill. I think we can keep on pushing. By the way, your assault ball will not see how much damage that does. Oh, almost got him right there. If I land the Q and then use my ultimate, I think that would kill him um, right there. So I try to go for it, didn't land the lob right there. And I'm just gonna die right there. Don't think there's anything we can really do. The big thing though is we got two gold tower go right there. The T1 and the T2. I think that's definitely worth it. At least for me to get all that extra gold. Uh, and make sure we really open up the map a whole lot right there. Alright, let's start going to Imperator. Not like a attack speed item, but we are playing attack speed at this point. Now we want to make sure that all attack really, really hurts. So let's build Imperator. And we're going to build Terminus right here, which is not a bad item considering the fact that Grim is just an easier character to hit in general. So having more durability can be quite, quite nice. You know what, I'm gonna come mid, um, I'm gonna try to see if we can get a sneaky gank on this um, wave before the white wave crashes in. Okay, is he gonna walk up? Sway a little bit, see if the wave is invisible or not. Okay, it does seem like it. So let's go to right then and get wait for the faint tooth. Okay, she's going in really hard on me. That's actually a huge pickup right there. Um, I'm gonna take a quick... I was thinking about taking a quick reset, but my team really wants to stop this right now. So if anything, I'll be in the vicinity of just taking down this Fainters with the team. If they jump on me, they jump on me, right? So make sure we would... Um, looks like they're trying to poke from over the wall, so let's actually stay around on the other end for now. Yep, that's nice and easy. Maybe we can actually attack mid. I have the ultimate to lock onto the way so I can at least do the damage on top of him. But I don't think we can quite catch him right there. So I'm going to attack the mid then for now. Because it seems like they're going to try and hurt down the way so I might as well just farm this mid way right here. Oh, wait is going in so hard and he's just going to instantly die. There's nothing we can do right there. Um, maybe they walk through here. Maybe they walk through here and we can catch them. Oh wait, they're pushing mid? Okay. Let's walk 
I'm trying to figure out if they're trying to push mid or where they're trying to go. But either way, we're going to hover this a bit longer and see where they go. Okay, they're going towards over there. Oh, it seems like the Grim actually blocked that. Uh, one HP, like I just need to get my Q off and then she dies right there. Yeah, right now we're just doing a lot of messy fighting that I'm not a big fan of. Like the way just going in really greedy was really bad. And the fact that there's just all this like hard engagement going on. I just don't like it. I don't think we actually gain much off of them, if anything. And the service is actually super annoying to play against because she jumps on me. I can't block her Q. And then when she's on top of me, I have to like look down and shoot her, which is really awkward camera placement wise, which again goes and show you guys how awkward it can sometimes get trying to shoot people, especially when they're on top of you aggressively like that. Uh, we're... Okay, I'm like too far away to go with there. I really want to just farm, like, we keep fighting, I just want to farm and get my power spike, if anything, so I'm going to go to right lane. He's going for the river buff, 100% right here. So I'm trying to tell my um, seal that hey, he's like down there. Let's get him. Okay, he's way over there. Nice. Yeah, I didn't want to blink for that, so if my seal can just confirm the kill, then that's A-OK, -okay, right? Okay, I see a wall place down the river. Someone is coming over right. Like someone's coming over, I need my seal to be with me. I'm trying to tell him, hey, hey, someone's going to be coming right here. Yeah, the waste was looking. Wait, the face? Yeah, seems like the face and waste was looking, but luckily we backed off so we didn't get the, um, got jumped by them. Okay. So what are we trying to do? Zeus is over here, and Zeus is mid. Let's look at the Lucerus first right here. I'll have my GTFO so I actually can't go on that unfortunately. But let's focus the Zeus or whoever's there, but I'm just stuck. I actually just cannot like get through that wall right there. Okay, he blinks on top of me. Does this block it? It does, that's great to know. Oh my god, 1 HP again. It sucks that I can't ever ult the Sarah's because if she kills, she dodges completely. Like, this is actually a really like annoying town matchup that Sarah is against me because I can just never ult her um, like that. We do have the Iggy doing a nice lift push. And I think he holds on against the Sarah's. Oh, he still got the knockback. Is that enough still? No, because it's um, wasted still now. Because right now I'm getting constantly jump on. I think I'm what I need is I need the Mixie on Steel to just hard peel for me. Because like, if I have peel to stun the Sarus or Sarus on top of me, I think we'll be fine. Just right now I keep getting caught out by myself. Without any support by the team. Zeus is not there. They could still be on this, so that's why we're gonna go and check. Okay, let's actually just run this. Like, it's the 5v4. Let's actually just use it melee. Th that time we actually finally got the hit right there. That's huge. So now we're just supposed to faint to it. If they still want to fight afterwards, we can definitely take a good fight. Nice, we have two faint twos. And the next one is going to be Primal. Grim looks like he's backing off.
Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna attack white for now. Just see if... Okay, it looks like everyone's going to um, mid. That's actually fine because I actually really want to just um, get this talent for myself. This is huge. Because again, gain solar gold is really good. Open up the map will also be super, super helpful right now. Okay, I definitely won't be pushing by myself. But I will gladly um, take this triple cam. Now I'm thinking about this a bit more. I think it'd been nicer if I went pacifier because if there was cues on top of me, I can at least create the distance and like save me some extra hits I could be being taken by her. I just kind of figure this way is working great because I don't need the liberator for the cleanse. But maybe that's a little bit too selfish. Maybe I should have been pacifier this game. Oh, I totally forgot to finish out and play this by the way. I was like wondering why I'm missing the item. Well, there we go. Now we're chilling. Okay, let's see. I guess we'll go to mid for now, see if it's one pushing, and then we can collapse on them. Yeah, that's a big wave that I want to take for myself. Okay. So, the support is going wide wave to kind of clear that out. Um, I'm gonna follow the fame Mal. I kind of feel like he's gonna be a really good job busting down people. Like if they're try to jump on us, for example. Honestly, let's go wide. Let's actually back away from mid and go sl slightly more towards the white side. Because right now they're all trying to hunt us down 5v5. And we want to make sure we play around the Iggy on the white side if we can. I'm basically trying to go in right here. Let's see if we can go right here. I'm basically it's going really hard. I'm stuck right here. Uh no, it's the same. It's the thing I'm trying to tell Mixy. Like he's going in hard, but I think what he really needs is he needs to peel for me really badly. Like. I think he's trying to make plays, but we just we can't make plays. Like this is a he, they have a dive comp that we can shut down if we just play for more peeling um, from the backside. Like I think him going hard like that by himself is really bad. And that might be on old farm at this point, which frame can maybe try to go for the steal, but it's also risky. Oh wait, Sales is so low. Wait, all to save us? Oh no, he misses the execute. He makes him get off of it though. On my way, if we can just go on it. Wait, he got the double kill. Fame out popping off. Fame out popping off. Melo is just built different. I'll say that right now. He is built different. Like Grim is built different because he's a really fat ADC, but he's built different. Fame out is built different in the sense of the skill right there. Love to see it. So yeah, I want to just do it, but we gotta wait for the fame out to come over first. Like let's just do this right here. Just wait for the team to gather around before we start this. There we go. I'll pop the quest, might as well, just so we can push it down faster. And this should honestly be a final call, I think, as well. Because maybe we can bust it down fast enough. But maybe we also need to get picked first. We'll, we'll play by E to see what the team wants to do. Alright, I'm going to take the blast gun right here. Because we need to make sure that this thing, um, the enemy team can't take. So Sales is right here, maybe try to go for a pick first, or... Hmm. Oh yeah, I think we can main on it, because we see that no one's really around to contest it, besides the Sales pooping in last second. Okay, that should be enough. Oh my god, I can't aim the Sales. I'm gonna just try ult the phase, try to poke it down a little bit, at the very least. 
and I'm definitely almost infective, so let's uh, let the prime heal us back up, then we can safely keep on pushing. Yeah, there should be Vine Inhibitor. Let's actually now swim by mid, grab the mid inhibitor, and maybe go up for the left one honestly since left is not too far away. Uh let's see what they Maybe I was trying to look, but I think we should Okay, I think my team is trying to look right here. So let's just wait for the time being. I mean left left wave is pushing anyways. If anything I can also grab this too. So make it easier for the left side to get pushed in naturally. Okay, we're about 64 seconds. That's all doing inhibitors. Now we gotta get a good pick and then maybe this could be GG's right here. Again, say what's going on me. Let's actually... I'm one of, of one person at least. Okay, let's actually just end the game right here. And it's gonna be one more kill on, t on top of me right there. So, yeah. That's some um, grimy action right there to say the least. I think the one thing that really caught me off guard more than anything is the fact that when people are just on top of you as Grim, like especially a small kill to like a um Sarus, it can be such a be really annoying to actually attack them right there. Because the camera again is just really awkward on Grim, but that also just reflects how massive this guy is. Like, um if you actually just see him if you play ADC a lot and you play Grim, you'll immediately notice how big of a height difference there is playing Grim for his other ADCs and that's like the very inter interesting about thing about Grim. Grim has a ton of utility, he has a shield to block like CC abilities on whatever skin thrown at him, he has Empower E for doing more damage but also slowing people um, but the compensation is that he's just easier to hit in general like if you're playing like Richter into the Grim, sure it could be annoying to try to play around the spell shield that Grim has but at the same time he's just easier to hook in like he is just that big and the whole meme about him back in Paragon is that he's really a walking fridge. He's that just much easier to hit basic attacks on and abilities on top of as well. So when playing Grim, it's very, very key. I'm using the spell shield to block the most important abilities and that varies from match to match. In this kind of matchup against the Grim and Faze, the only ability I can really block is the Grim abilities because Faze, like, e lands tick multiple times, it'll only block one instance to tick and that's it. But blocking the shield from Sarah's, um, blocking like the waste sniper shots, using the block hits rewind too is also very key as well. So um, Grim just has a lot of utility, but also have a lot of um, interesting like weaknesses that goes along with him just being the heal bigger heal model and also like him just having to build different eyes because he has no access to physical penetration right there. So I didn't do a whole lot ex explaining a whole lot about the Grimm's kit. I just kind of figure I kind of focus more on the gameplay, especially since like I said, like the Septic and Omnix duo right there, which can be pretty challenging as you guys saw. So I had to really make sure I stay focused on that so we can at least come out on top, which we did for the most part, so I think we did very well for this first game and now we can go on to cooking some of the more juicier stuff. So if you are not already, subscribe to the channel so you are going to be seeing my videos on the Grim for the next coming days for like all the kind of cook stuff I'll be doing for him. But anyways, thank you guys for the support as always and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.